first of all, I don't think I'd talk about it in terms of a transition, because I had two parallel means of distribution. I had radio on the one hand and television on the other. As far as CBS was concerned, they were two separate departments. They didn't overlap. Radio didn't feed television technically. It only fed it ultimately in terms of programs. And that didn't last very long. But uh, television was a separate means of, of broadcasting. Uh, what brought us to the decision to go into television? It seemed like a logical sequence of the, to go from, to, to, to expand from audio to audio and video. <coughs> but at no time <coughs> did we cut back on radio to make it possible to do television. That's why I had two separate organizations, two news departments. Eventually, the news departments came together, but the, the business side of the two media and the programming side of the two media were entirely separate. So far as I know, they still are. But there's no doubt that television came to eclipse uh, radio in, in... Came what? Came to eclipse radio in terms of importance. And, uh, Not in my book. Uh, to this day? To this day. And in fact, if I think radio has got an enormous future. You can move ideas quicker on radio. There's less production importance. You can, a man can w work on radio out of his pocket practically. Uh, look at what we're doing right now. It took us 45 minutes to set up for this interview. Uh, radio would not have caused that problem at all. Radio can go around the corner. You can listen to it in the dark. You can listen to it in your car. Uh, it has many advantages over television. Now, on events of certain kind, sure, the, the picture adds an enormous amount to the, to the event. But uh, I don't look upon radio as a, as a poor relation to television. 